This video will show you how you can add your Power BI account into the PBRS software. So from the home screen, you're going to click on Options, and on the left-hand side, you'll see Power BI Accounts, and I'm going to click on Add. For the account name, this can be anything that you would like. You're going to leave the default setting for Office 365. And then you're going to enter in the username, which is um, typically an email address, and the password that you use to log into your Power BI account. Once you've done that, um, what we'll do to grab the client ID and client secret is follow these instructions listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the URL. And um, for the app name, I'm going to go ahead and enter in what I used Previously, you do not have to. Um, and then for the app type, you're going to use the server side web app. For the redirect URL, you are going to enter in the HTTP colon two slashes localhost. And I'm going to copy that and paste that because it will be the same for the home page URL. Now, how do I know this? Again, these instructions within PBRS in blue are the exact same steps that I am following in this video. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these boxes. These are the permissions that we would need to grant in order to view the Power BI reports within PBRS. The next thing you're going to do is click on Register App. This generates a client ID, which I am going to copy and paste into the appropriate field in PBRS. I'm going to copy the client secret. Once you've done that, you will click on verify. Prior to doing that, I am going to make sure I entered in my password correctly because I have a bad habit of doing that. Let's click on verify. What this should do is bring up a web page URL and it did and what this URL is basically doing is granting those permissions that we have to accept and you'll notice we've got the Power BI account verified successfully I'm going to go ahead and click on save and close and now my Power BI account has been added into PBRS